Hello to today I'm going to demonstrate deploy a recent server appliance. So basically I have downloaded the vCenter ISO file and mount it as a DVD. So this is the file I launched setup. But before you can view this page you need to install the browser plugin. So here's the browser plugin. It's called client integration plugin. Anyway, I did the installation already. So now I'm opening this page. So it guide me here. So I start the installation. Accept. So ask me my server information. Okay. Okay, so I move on to next. So it's validating. Sure, so ask me accept the SSL certificate. Okay. Set up virtual machine apply name okay okay got the root password and then name the appliance next select de deploy install this in the visa invented platform service controller S basically is all in one or separate two component Anyway, I'm going to do only one server, so we'll do all in one single SSO domain. I don't have a vCenter yet, so I'm going to create a new one. Okay, I got this new site information next. Apply size. So anyway, I'm going to do 10 first. Ask me which data store. database I don't have an Oracle database so next. IP address we okay, just got a static IP for my UV single server so configure NTP service as well so next join join next finish Okay, starting. Oh, still going. Oh, we got this error message. Not sure what's going on. So I'm going to stop the recording and then uh, we'll try to some search. Okay, I'm going to do one more time. Uh, the previous one failed. So um, I checked the article saying my FQDN cannot be resolved by DNS service so what I did I'm using my existing domain name and in my DNS I added my server name this one and resolved to this IP so I can verify here I'm using NS lookup and uh, look up my vCenter's IP so it returned the IP address so I assume it will be ok after that ok starting now ok finally it's completed so I can log in now click this one
login Still waiting. Okay, I mean, thanks for watching.